JBL recently released their new and refreshed range of soundbars and today we are looking at the Bar 1300. This bar is a top tier model in the range and it rocks many features including true Dolby Atmos. It is time to unbox the big one. So what makes the JBL Bar 1300 top tier? Well, aside from the $2,000 price point, it is an 11.1.4 bar with two detachable rear speakers. It has a 10 inch wireless subwoofer and the two rear speakers can either run on battery or be constantly powered by a USB-C. The biggest reason why you would buy this soundbar is if you do want to give yourself that full cinematic experience at home. The Bar 1000 is a 7.1.4 bar so buying the 1300 will fully immerse you even deeper into the world of Dolby Atmos in your lounge room. We use this soundbar in a pretty small living room. I'm talking a shoebox size that flows onto an open plan kitchen and dining area. And although this bar would have been tested in larger spaces upon creation, it fills this space so well and creates a listening experience that I've never heard in my house before. And previous to this, I did have my partner's Sonos. So once we plugged it all in and calibrated it through the JBL One app, we did some Dolby Atmos testing. Can I just say, if you have a new JBL soundbar with Dolby Atmos, you must try the Dolby Atmos Leaf video on YouTube with this soundbar. Thanks to JBL's recommendation, we tried this out with the bar in my lounge room and I've never felt so outside with nature through sound. I know that sounds ridiculous, but I am someone who doesn't really leave her house and I personally think that the sound and experience that this gives you with that specific video sounds better than actually being outside. Check it out with one of the soundbars because it is incredible. So the next few tests we ran were playing Call of Duty and also watching one of my partner's favorite movies, Baby Driver. Firstly with COD, it sounds pretty damn good. <laughs> You all know I am a JBL Quantum user and I absolutely love using their headsets when I'm gaming, but this sound bar took it to another level where I didn't actually need to use a headset. That bar and the rear speakers just kicked in and created the most amazing gaming sound without a headset. What I found is that it did give a really good sense of spatial awareness in the game and I was able to know where my enemies were. If someone is above you in a building with a heavy weapon, it felt like the sound came from the rears, swung around and went upwards. So you just knew that there was an enemy there. It's really hard to explain without being sat there and experiencing it for yourself. But because of the way sound is pushed forwards and upwards, it really does make you feel like you are in the middle of the battlefield. It also does such a good job of capturing bullets going past you or someone shooting at you. It really makes you want to duck and cover. <laughs> I was actually blown away with how good it sounded for gaming, having the volume up at a decent level. It really just put me in the game. And I know I say that a lot about the JBL Quantum headsets, 
but having a soundbar do this for you is just a whole nother level. So from the movie perspective, Baby Driver was incredible. It is a very impressive movie to watch with Dolby Atmos. You have to watch this movie to get a better understanding of how sound works, but basically the shift from Baby listening to music in his ears, his earphones rather, to then him taking them out and the music softening, but inserting more of that natural noise and chaos that's going around in this scene. Like I just, I was totally blown away. There's so much going on in the specific scene with getaway cars going and noises and bangs going off and the music playing from his earphones. All that chaos going on, the way that the soundbar and the rears collate that audio and bring in the Dolby Atmos features of throwing it around the room and bouncing it off the walls and the ceiling. Honestly, it blew my mind. It really feels like you're actually in the cinema watching the movie every time you watch that. And I know there'll be other movies out there that'll do a great job of showcasing the bar's talents, but this just, it, it blew my mind. It really blew my mind. But now we get to the most important feature of the JBL Bar 1300. To me, it is the convenience that all of this is in one box. You drop $2,000 on it, but you walk away with everything you need. There's no need to have to buy a bar, a sub, rear speakers, all that stuff separately. It's all packaged into one decently sized box and it actually is the most simple setup with a fully functional and easy to use app. If you're terrified of cinematic setups like I am, the JBL One app takes you through step by step in setting up the device and calibrating it for your space. Mind you, calibration only took a couple of minutes. It was so fast. Really, anybody can set this up and get it set perfectly for their space. The JBL One app has all the functions that the remote control for the bar has, from base level adjustments to Atmos on and off, to rear volume adjustments and source changes between TV and HDMI pass-through. It has Spotify integration, there's a Chromecast built in, and it has Apple AirPlay. And in typical JBL format, not only do you get one Bluetooth speaker, which is in the soundbar, you get three. Both of the rear speakers are individual Bluetooth speakers as well. And you can have each one of those speakers, so the bar and the two rears, going at once with three different audio sources, and it just works amazingly. I connected three phones, each to a speaker, all played something at once, and there was no interference, it all just worked straight from the phones. It was mind-blowing. The Cold War. That was the year that Chinese communists, the red Chinese, this sound bar truly is the full solution to your home theater. What are your overall thoughts on the JBL bar 1300? I love it. I love it. It's uh, it's so comprehensive to have something that out of a box to do what it does with probably 15 minute setup overall is. It's not nothing, I'll tell you that much. It's really, really impressive. So how was the setup process for you? I didn't want to cry, which is awesome. Um, audio, for those that know, can be nightmarish, um, particularly for something, again, as comprehensive as this. To be able to have um, plug-in, be super idiot-proof, um, and even with me making a mistake with a HDMI cable that I thought was plugged in, turns out it wasn't, um, the whole thing only took about 15 minutes, including calibration, so it was seamless. As someone who has studied audio, what would you say to the average customer who wants to buy this soundbar? For starters, do it. Um, for a bunch of reasons, an 11.1.4 channel um, in a box, super easy to set up is phenomenal. For those that don't know how channels work, you've got your 11 channels, which are your kind of, in a nutshell, your horizontal channels, so your forward channels. The point one, obviously your big 10 inch sub, um, and your point four, which are your height channels. So to get that in a box with a setup time of maybe 20 minutes, including unboxing and calibration is awesome. Um, probably another thing is as well, is that with the 10 inch sub, rather than being a 12 inch sub, it's not overpowering. It is infinitely adjustable for what 2000 Australian that's that's a hell of a lot of technology for not that much money in the grand scheme of things for something that will do everything that you'll be able to future proof for a long time is there anything else you want to add uh yeah I love these little dudes they're so seamless they're so cool they're so powerful um I'm a huge 
audio nerd obviously, but particularly for spatial and surround, for something that actually gives you proper, I don't wanna say spatial audio, because that's a thing now, but proper surround, horizontal and vertical, um, to be used by somebody that's really, you can know a lot about audio, or you can know nothing about audio, but as soon as you unplug these and put them behind you, you kind of go, oh, okay, I get it. Um, that, and even just the remote, um, normally not a huge remote guy, but something that's super simple, only has a few really easy to use buttons, um, the detail on the bar and magnets, uh, anything, any cool thing with magnets I'm all about. Um, and the way these all magnet together, you've got the end caps on them. It's just super, it's, it's really well thought out. You can tell that there was a lot of people that spent a lot of time thinking about how to optimize this and make it as good as it can be. And they've really freaking nailed it. So JBL. I love that the design is simple and it's seamless. They even match the remote control to the design of the bar. You can connect your rears via the inbuilt magnets and have one long sound bar, which also charges the rears while they're on there. Or you can detach them and place the end caps on to neaten the end of the bar. The magnets make it so fast and simple to easily put them on and take them off. Convenient again, right? Overall, the JBL Bar 1300 is a winner in the soundbar world. Why would you purchase all these pieces separately when in one decently sized box, you have an audio experience like no other? Thank you so much JBL for sending this over. It has been the most amazing addition to my home. Hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you in my next video.